Okay, Mr. Slave. Shout out to the best amount of chips you can have in this game. Uh, well, crap, that didn't work. People, it's a new week in GTA. That means we've got new bonus money, new discounts, and more importantly, a new community challenge. All types of fun stuff going on this week. Starting off strong behind me there, the Kanjo SJ on the podium. That is one of like 22 anime titty vehicles in this game. You know how I feel about that. Try to get this car if you don't have it yet. It's awesome. As you probably saw on the title screen, the biggest money-making opportunity this week comes in the Doomsday Heist Community Challenge. The Doomsday Scenario Heist is paying out double money in RP on the finale and on all prep missions. That comes out to like $4.5 million a run, people. And if you combine that with the glitch to skip all the prep missions that I'm going to do an updated version of, released either tonight or tomorrow then uh, yeah, you're going to be making some serious bank this week on that. Should we succeed in making a bunch of money this week, all players also unlock a new livery for the Zentorno, which, you know, why not? The biggest sale this week for new players is over here on Maze Bank Foreclosures. It's any of the purple facilities over here. They are 50% off their normal costs and their renovations. So if you don't have a facility, this is definitely the week to buy one. And the biggest sale of the week for veteran players is probably the fact that every single apartment is 50% off this week. So, you know, if you don't own the max level apartments that you can, this is the week to like maybe shore up all the apartments you own and get more garage spaces. And on top of all that, the F-160 Raiju over here on Warstock is 25% off its normal cost. If you haven't picked this up yet, that's probably a good time to pick it up. Not to mention, this is the second anime titty vehicle on sale this week. Let's fucking go! Yeah, definitely buy this at some point if you haven't yet. Then over on Legendary in the two-door section, we've got the Emerus here. This car is fire. Performs well. It's got great customization. Highly recommend buying it this week while it's on sale if you have not yet. Further down the way, we've got the Zentorno here. If you're a new player, highly recommend this car because I, you're not going to get a much better car for that price. This thing has great performance, great customization and livery options, and it just so happens to be bulletproof from the back because of this design right here. So I highly recommend this car. And then finally, over in Southern San Andreas in the featured section, the Vapid Cleek Wagon. Frankly, that's probably even still too much for this car. But, you know, if you want the brand new cars, it's better to buy them when they're discounted. But it's probably not worth it. On top of all that, there's free setup costs for the original heists for no reason. And free drinks here at the casino, also, again, for no reason. Here is a full list of all the discounts, in case you just want to take a look at it real quick. And there's also three times rewards for any of the Community Series new modes this week. Keeping it moving. On to the secret sales and stuff this week. All the bonus stuff. Over here at the car meet, we've got the 190Z, which is, you know, it's a pretty cool classic car. You know, it's performance-wise, it's not amazing, but it's a classic car, and it's got really good customization. And they're basically giving this shit away, and I'm pretty sure you can no longer buy it on websites, so. Sheesh. And then you've got some heaters over here this week. You've got the Hermes, the Z-Type, and the Mamba. The Mamba you can still find on websites, so, you know, whatever. The Z-Type, that thing is... At, this thing is fire. I highly, highly recommend picking this up. This is one of the classic cars from, like, original GTA Online days that was removed. It's like a million-ish dollars, but look at it. It's the old-school Rolls-Royce. Like, pick this up this week if you don't have it. It's definitely a collector's car. And then you've got the Hermes over here, which is 40% off, meaning it's only, like, $250,000 or something. And it's got crazy livery options. And it, it looks awesome. I highly recommend this car, too. Recommend getting both of these. Then you've got the monstrosity over here with how and no one cares. Keep it moving. Then you've got Simeon's place over here, which doesn't have any secret sales or anything, but it has the two cars that we already talked about, the Emerus and the Click Wagon over there that are both on sale. And it's got these three random nice cars that you could test drive if you wanted to. But, yes, the Tesseract is dope. This one is the one on sale if you want to test drive it. That one in the back, shout out to Young Ancestor. And the mirror you guys keep putting on the fucking wall, I need back on the table, okay? Back on the table. Of course, of course, yeah. anyway. Click Wagon, again, not that great. And then the Camaro over here with the Secret Shark GTA Plus livery if you do the merge glitch, which I don't even think works anymore. But still, whatever. Keep it moving. And then over here at Luxury Autos, you've got not one but two cars that were removed from websites and are also secretly on sale. First up, on the left, the Revolter here. This is one of like 12 or I think 14 vehicles that can have a Galaxy livery on it. And then over here on the ETR1, you know, the livery options, frankly, aren't that great. But it looks pretty good in that paint job. And you can no longer buy this on the websites. And it's on sale for less than a million dollars. Performance-wise, also, it's really goddamn good. 
As always, shout out to this website if you want to know where the gun van is without paying for it or looking around the map. And shout out to them for reminding me that peyote plants are back in game this week for only this week. And these are all the locations where you'll find them with details about how they spawn, etc., etc. Like this website's awesome. Highly recommend utilizing this. What do you got? New stuff I think you'll want to see. Railgun, as always, pick this up if you don't have it. Can't Other stuff. Firework launcher, sure. This right here, people, this is one of my most watched videos on YouTube. The combat shotgun, how to get this. You used to be able to only find this over on Kayo during the heist. Just randomly in one of a couple of different spawn locations. So, if you don't want to do all that, you can just buy it here this week if you find this man. So, I would highly recommend getting that. And if you're not level 100 yet, actually, they may have removed that. I think you used to have to be level 100 to buy a minigun, but I don't know if you still have to be. But there's a lot of good weapons over here this week. Thanks, man. And then one last thing, check this out, people. A sneak peek at one of the cars from the winter update coming out later this month or next month, whatever. As a reward for beating the Simeon thing last week or whatever, we got a special livery for the upcoming Grotti Turismo Omagio supercar. So that's the first look at the new supercar coming out later this year. It looks goddamn pretty, if I do say so myself. And there you go, people. That's the weekly update for you. Peyote's back in the game, which is always fun, but the Doomsday Scenario Challenge this week. It's ridiculous. You're making bank this week if you're grinding this out, which I, frankly, am going to get up to 100 million. I'm going to be <laughs> streaming on Twitch this whole weekend. Uh, yeah, you know the spiel. Check the channel. Leave a like, thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. Do all the fun stuff. Check Twitch and Discord. Both those links are in every description. Really appreciate everyone watching, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bam. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>